Hey there YouTube, Scott Stevens here. How are you doing on this beautiful evening? Welcome to another edition of MLB The Show 23. Going to work on the Negro League storylines again this evening. We're going to do one more. We have two left, and then that will be completed. After that... We have new weekly wonders, as you can see right there. So we're going to work on those as well. A uh, little disappointing this week. And uh, I'm going to show you why in just a second. The weekly wonders four. Okay. Now, usually you get some kind of uh, cool rewards along the way. Normally some kind of packs or something of the sort. And um, this is what we have this week. Look at this. Nothing but XP. And at the end, you get five regular packs. So, really, there's no nothing really enticing you to do this. You get 250, 500, 750, 1,000 XP, 1,500, 3,000. That's not even 10,000 total. And then the five packs, which normally amount to... Uh, Nothing. So, uh, not a lot of incentive here for this. Uh, same thing, we have four moments, all worth uh, one point each. We'll do those after the storyline. And then you have the missions, which are, are normally just basically playing the game. Uh, 21 innings with any pitchers, three home runs with captains, or you can get 10 hits with Mets batters, or five extra base hits with Brewers batters. So, it's a, it's a fairly easy program uh, to do, but uh, this week, you get what you pay for. <laughs> it's easy, and uh, the rewards are weak. As you can see, I only have... Uh... Do we have a new Tops now? What was that? No, we don't have a new Tops now. Okay. I thought maybe we did. Um, as you can see, I'm down to 2,800 stubs. Uh, I was saving up for the Gary Carter, but uh, I decided against it because the uh, that's just one card. I took that money, and what I did is I went on to the market, and I bought uh, two cards. I'm going to show you here in a second. Uh, two cards in from set one so if you come into set one because the goal obviously the first goal is to get to 110 cards so i can get the trey turner i'm at 101 i bought two cards today which puts me at 103 because i'm pretty sure that once set two comes out i don't think you can get set one cards anymore so uh, i want to make sure i get that trey turner card the gary carter card will always be for sale. So you have to take those things into consideration in this game uh, when you're playing the market and uh, what's going to happen. Uh, always grab what may not be available and save what you know will be available down the road. That Gary Carter card is for sale on the market. It's always going to be for sale. Uh, the Trey Turner card is a reward card, and it may not be available when set two comes out. I don't know that for sure. But I'm not going to play that game because I played that game in the past and got burned. So um, so what I did was I bought two cards today uh, on the market here. I bought this uh, Yoannis Espedes card. And I think I paid around 22000 for it. And I also bought the um, Juan Soto card here. And I paid about the same. Um, I think it was around 18000 for that. So that drops me down to about 8000 and. I'm just looking uh, for the uh, whoever has the best price on the market Oops. Um, to see who has the cheapest ones to try and get. Uh, the cards are a collection, Godspeed. How you doing? Thank you for joining the stream. Um, these set one cards here, this is the set one collection. So it's under set collections, and this is set one. And as you can, you can see, I have 101 of the 260. So collecting these cards gets you these rewards. As you can see, I got 
5,000 XP and 2,500 stubs. I got the 99 Jazz Chisholm. And the next reward is the 99 Trey Turner, which I really want. That card is a beast. His contact, 112, 125. Hey, Tycho, what's going on, brother? Thanks for joining the stream. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, Godspeed. It's all part of, you know, these. And that's what I was saying. This Trey Turner card, it's a reward. So you cannot buy this on the market. You can only get it once. So no one's going to be selling it. He's got power of 87 and 109. He's got 99 speed, 87 steel. I mean, the dude is a beast. And uh, his uh, his uh, fielding is only gold, but that's okay. Uh, I'll, I'll take him every day of the week. Plus, he plays every infield position just about. That's cool, Tycho. Well, I appreciate you stopping in and joining, man, All right, while you're at work. I appreciate that. So the, the Gary Carter card, which I was saving up for, will always be on the market. This Trey Turner card may not be available once set two goes out. So so right now I have 103. We can see here. I have 103 cards now. And those are all now locked in. So trying to get to 110 so I can get that Trey Turner. So I got to either buy seven more set one cards or earn them or whatever. I'm hoping that when the Tops Now comes out next week, uh, that they'll have some more rewards and maybe that'll be the seven I need. I don't know, but I got to start my stub collection all over again because um, I got to buy these guys. Here's the Gary Carter card. Uh, where was it? I just saw it right there. It's always going to be on the market. It's not a reward. See, Trey Turner is a reward, so you, you're not going to get two of them. You only get one, so no one is going to be able to sell them. So just another day at Office Max. <laughs> I like my, my local office max, man. They're pretty cool. They always take good care of me. Um, so the Gary Carter card will always be available on the market. So I'll, I'll, I'll just have to suffer and stick with Johnny Bench for a while and keep him in. So um, we're going to do the, um, the uh, Weekly Wonders program here shortly, which, uh, I mean, it's just terrible this week. This is the rewards just suck. Um, and they suck, but but uh, we're gonna do that after because we have first have to complete the Negro League storylines. Not complete it, but do the next one. I can imagine Tycho, the the one that that I go to um, near my house. They always take real good care of me. Very nice people there, but. There's never anybody in there. <laughs> I think maybe that's why when I go in there, they're happy to see somebody. <laughs> I think the, the most people I've ever seen in there once is like three. Yeah, so, <laughs> but, but they do. They, all, they take good care of me when I go in there, though. All right. So, yeah, we only have two storylines left, and then we get the uh, Buck O'Neill 95 overall. And, uh, again, he won't be making the lineup, but uh, the story the storylines will all be completed. So tonight is John Donaldson, a forgotten star of the barnstorming era who made towering contributions to the Negro Leagues. He has nine episodes. Let's get started. All right, first inning. Oh, he's a pitcher? Yeah, before Satchel, there was John Donaldson. Okay. Pitch two innings. Don't walk a batter. Don't hit a batter. Don't give up a run. So basically... You can give up a hit. You just can't do that. All right, let's take a look at the rewards. That, same as the other ones, stadium. See, I have all the stadiums now, so any stadium I get now, I should be able to sell. I hope they're not no-sells because that would really suck. Uh, they already got me once. Uh, yesterday, I had to pick something that I already had and, and uh, couldn't sell it. So um, that kind of sucks. Yeah, I saw that Godspeed. Tampa really rocked them pretty good. Yeah, I saw that. My buddy's a big Lightning fan. Uh, so hopefully the stadium I get, I'll be able to sell. I get a uniform, a bat skin, XP stubs. Oh, two uniforms, actually. And an Icon's Choice Pack. So I'm really hoping that I can sell that stadium because I have every one now. And uh, I don't have a need to have two of one stadium. So I'm, I'm hoping that it's not going to be a no-sell. All right, so let's jump into the storyline. This is Negro League John Donaldson, episode one. What Satchel Page was for the Negro Leagues, John Wesley Donaldson was for pre-Negro Leagues history, early era of black baseball. One of the greatest pitchers to ever toe the mound, a dazzling left-handed pitcher 
whose feats were, I guess you could say, something right out of a video game. Three consecutive no-hitters, over 400 verifiable wins, over 5,000 career strikeouts. And yet it's hard to believe that very few folks have heard of the great John Donaldson. Three consecutive no-hitters? That is impressive. All right, so uh, uh, what was that? Two innings? Two innings. Don't walk, don't hit, don't give up a run. So I can give up a hit. I just can't give up a run, all right? All right. Here's the left fielder, Harvey. Harvey. He's got a slur, fastball, slider, forkball, sinker. Wow, look at the break on this. I think this is the, the slur. And that is in yep. for a strike. And we are underway. All right, so I got to pitch two innings. This slur has a huge break. And that one missing low. John Donaldson was really the cornerstone for this all-nations team. He was the primary pitcher and played the outfield on the days he wasn't on the mound. Donaldson winds and fires. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Donaldson was just 21 when the All-Nations team got started, and in his first game for them, he struck out 18 batters. And Boog, only three other pitchers have ever struck out 18 in a major league game at that age. Bill Gullickson, Kerry Wood, and Bob Feller. Got him. One away. That's Marshall, impressive. Now at the plate. Not going to say that it's not. That one's in there 0-1. Hall of Fame manager John McGraw said Donaldson was the best pitcher he'd ever seen. And remember, McGraw managed Christy oh, Mathewson for more than a decade. The punch out there. Donaldson looking very sharp to start this one. And now the first baseman, Reese. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, one's the count. He doesn't have the heat Satchel Page has. 97. Bounce to the left side. Slings to first, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. All right. Top of the second. The I believe now. that's what they're looking for. Donaldson back to work. Bell puts it in the air out towards left center. Hamilton pulls that one down, and a quick out number one. Donaldson, a native of Glasgow, Missouri. He led his grade school to a championship against schools from seven other cities. Taylor, oh, now his, the box. His Comes grade up school. Empty with a swing there. <laughs> Next offering is in who, for a Who strike. even remembers that? You know, when John was pitching for his school, his mom Ida didn't approve because they played games on Sundays, but then the championship game came, and it was on a Sunday, and she wound up coming to cheer him on with the rest of the crowd. So up next, Gardner. Like any other mother would do. Pitch, and that's you know, it doesn't make strike. her special. She should have been there. Oh, two the count. Donaldson delivers. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 0-2 from Donaldson. Good job to fight that one off. Yes, he did. Swings Got and him. misses. Struck him out. All right, one down. We got 100 stubs, 100 XP. Episode 2, over 400 career wins. He's an outfielder, too, so maybe we'll get some batting. Thank you, Godspeed. When are you going to get the game, Godspeed? 
pitch one inning, do not give up three runs. Wow. What stadium is this? I think this is that Bush. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the ninth, and now the right fielder, Terry. Tuesday, that's cool. And the pitch. Yeah. And that's in for a strike. The first year of John Donaldson's pro career was in 1911, and it was clear he was a special pitcher. He went 44 and three that season. Yeah, honestly, Donaldson's first documented game that year is just unreal. He faced a right team and struck out 19 against just one hit and a shutout. He was barely 20 years old at the time. Now 44 and three. I'd Short say that's a pretty solid year. Yeah, we haven't played on this stadium yet. I think this is, uh, it's either Hilldale baseman, or that Bush. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Cole stands at first with one out. Swing and a miss struck him out. So it's their last chance. You know, I forgot what the goal is. One inning, don't give up three Benson runs. Okay. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Parker. Next pitch downstairs, oh. one and zero. Oh. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings and misses. In the count, now. one and two. Ball yeah. game. John Donaldson with a gem for Kansas City. A gem it was. Icons Choice Pack, 100 Stubs, 100 XP. Episode 3, Barnstorming. For those of you who may be hearing the term barnstorming for the first time, as it relates to baseball, it just simply means that they were taking baseball to towns and places around the globe that had not seen this brand of professional baseball. And the Negro Leaguers were heralded barnstormers. As a matter of fact, the legendary Satchel Page would credit John Donaldson for sparking his desire to want to barnstorm the country. John Donaldson was essentially a hired hand. Truthfully, it would be easy to tell you the places that he didn't pitch than it would be to tell you all the places that he did pitch. And it's so unfortunate that the color of his skin prevented this man from showcasing his dazzling skills against all of the great players in this game. You only wonder what if what if he'd gotten his chance and just how special would John Donaldson have been? I, for one, to believe that John Donaldson would have been one of the greatest pitchers to ever play this game. All right. Well, let's see what he's going to have to prove here in the next episode. There's Babe Ruth. Strike out one batter, okay. Bottom of the first. Now it's the right fielder, Babe Ruth. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, I'm going to go two fastballs up and in, the slider low and away. Next offering is in for a strike. Next pitch misses and that didn't outside. work. All right, we'll try the fork ball. All right, now we'll go the slider. Again. Donaldson winds and fires. Got, Got him. him. Donaldson fans the babe. Donaldson fans the babe. We got a stadium choice pack. Hopefully that is not a no-sell. And 100 stubs, 100 XP. Episode 4, likely invented the slider. What made John Donaldson so special, number one, he was a softball. And he is likely the guy who invented what we now know to be the slider. 
Yeah, John Donaldson was throwing that pitch 20 years before anyone knew anything about it. He was hard to hit. No one had seen stuff quite like John Donaldson. I think that's my favorite pitch is the slider. It's a great equalizer. Ready to go. And now the right fielder, Terry. More cool cutscenes. Curveball, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I don't know what my goal is here. Strike out one batter. Okay. Again. Strike out the one batter. Using only the slurve and the slider. Okay, that makes it a little more difficult. <clears throat> we'll go back door slider. Curveball is cool. I think the why I like yeah, the slider so much is it here this afternoon. for the most part looks like a fastball. And when it's coming in at 90-92, it even look, more, looks like a fastball even more until it makes its Donaldson break. Delivers. The curveball will buckle you and buckle your knees. To first, one out in the top of the first. John I got to strike out one guy. Such a big evolution in baseball's history. He threw it so much harder than the typical breaking balls other pitchers were throwing at the time. Cole no. in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Oh. Good eye right there. Singy, you think of all the pitchers who came after Donaldson who made a living on their sliders, a really amazing hey. lineage of stars. Absolutely, boo. Pitchers like CeCe Sabathia, Fergie Jenkins, Bob Gibson, they all built their careers on the back of excellent sliders. Donaldson winds and fires. Pitch misses there, and that's ball three. Well, I'll tell you, Boog, facing a lefty slider as a lefty hitter, just no fun because out of the hand, sometimes it'll start behind you, and it's running away from you the entire time. Hard to tell if it's a pitch you can lay off or a pitch that you've got to try to put in play. I remember when I was in high school, we were up against a pitcher had a curveball. Oh, my God. That was a badass curveball. We got a bat 250 and 250 on that. Next episode is broke his catcher's hand. I'll finish that story in a second. John Donaldson could get the ball up to home plate as fast as anyone. And yes, it is true that one of his fastballs broke the hand of his catcher. I'm sure his catcher was not excited about that. And like a lot of the guys who were catching these guys like John Donaldson and Satchel Paige, you had to find a little something extra to create padding to try and protect your mitt with the catcher's mitt. And it was just hard for the opposition to catch up with that fastball of John Donaldson. When I was in high school, we were facing this guy one time. He had a I don't know what the miles per hour were, but at that time in life, it was the fastest fastball I'd ever come up against, and it was scary. <laughs> it was scary going up against that thing. His curveball was just a couple ticks slower than his fastball, and I mean, there wasn't much of a drop miles per hour wise, but it had a break on it. It was huge, and... I have to pitch two perfect innings. And I got uh and now it's I got up to bat and the dude's fastball man, I'm telling you, it was it was nothing like I had ever faced before. I was scared. Uh, my knees were knocking as I stood in the batters, but I'm not even lying. And a pitch. And uh he threw yeah. because he was and wild. And not only was he, you know, had a lot of velocity, but he did not have good control. You know, we were in high school. And um, strike. the first pitch, I got, uh, it was coming to my head, and I ducked and hit the dirt, and it broke and right Donaldson over the plate. Rings him up for the K. And then it was a strike. So Next I'm hit, sitting in the dirt on my ass. The umpire called strike one. That was embarrassing. 
So the next pitch was coming in my head again, and I was determined I wasn't going to look foolish again. So I stood there, and it didn't break. <laughs> it didn't break. It hit me right in the head. Right in the head. Split the batter's helmet. Uh, my batting helmet cracked it. That was uh, that was not fun. But I was not I wasn't getting out of the way again. I was not going to look foolish again. Two outs, bases empty. Reese getting ready to hit. That dude was crazy. And first off, he had an unbelievable velocity for high school. And he didn't have a lot of... He was kind of like Ricky Vaughn in Major League. He had awesome velocity, but he had no control. It just was a fair match against the batters at the time. Kind of reminds me of a role as Chapman when he broke into the majors with the Reds. I saw stars when that shit hit me, but I was not going to look foolish twice in a row. Donaldson winds and fires. Bows it off, still one and two. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Popped up to the left, into foul ground, and that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. Got him! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. All right, I need another perfect inning. Back. Now it's the right fielder. I just can't give up a hit. And a pitch. That one ripped right center field. Get That's over there, get over there, get there, get there, get there. And it's gone. The wall got in the way. Now the left fielder, Harvey. Don't give up a hit. The line to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, and we're field. underway. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. Donaldson delivers. Struck him out without a swing. Cold you did MMA for two weeks, Godspeed, and you quit. <laughs> Stepping in the long ball threat, Marshall. Yeah, it's. First I can imagine that's got to be tough. Hey, you lasted two weeks. No Morning, score, just getting started, top of the first. That one's in there. That is strike two. Struck him out. Donaldson's got a good fastball today. And here's the first baseman, Reese. And ball one. Counts one and oh. So now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Next, Next pitch three. misses. Two balls, two strikes. Two, two to count. Donaldson winds and fires. Count full. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. Yes, what yes, Psycho. Um, the uh, MLB 23 has uh, Negro League storylines. Yep. And I believe that there is 10 of them. I believe. And I'm doing one a night before I get into uh, play. Before I start playing other stuff. There's one more left I'll, I'll do tomorrow. You get good stuff out of it. You get six of the Negro League um, stadiums. Which is my favorite part in the new stadiums. You get some cards, some core cards Next for your collection. In for a strike. And uh, it's uh, very educational. The guy who narrates it is very good. He's very well spoken. He knows the shit. He's the president of the Negro League uh, Museum. And uh, I've learned a lot Donaldson. going through the um, through the storylines here. It's very cool. Yeah, one more left tomorrow. That's right, my uh, stream tomorrow is going to be during the day. Because the Devils are playing game two tomorrow night against the Rangers. Hopefully a better result. But my stream will be during the day tomorrow. 
the next to hit. It's it's part of MLB the show twenty three. Tycho, it's the the program is called Negro League Storylines. They're storylines of ten different players who were stars in the Negro Leagues. So you learn about the, the ten different players and there's rewards for doing each storyline. And then when you finish all of them you get another reward. Got him. And there are two outs. Here's the catcher, Gardner. I've been doing oh, one player here, no per score. night. Before I get into my regular playing with my Diamond Dynasty team. Next offering upstairs. It's pretty cool. It gives you some background on a lot of the players who are in the Negro Leagues. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. The curveball, yeah. All right, for that one, we got uh, a bat skin, 250 stubs, 250 XP. Episode 6 is the ultimate showman. When Satchel Paige says that he emulates you, then you pretty well know that he had to be a great showman. And John Donaldson was all of that and more. Like most who played in the Negro Leagues, they understood that this game was indeed entertainment. And Donaldson was the show. And people came to see the show. And he always delivered. This is where Satchel Paige got a lot of his antics. And we know the stories of how Satchel Paige would call the outfielders in and sit the infielders down or try this on for size. In South Dakota, John Donaldson, one by one, started to call in his players to end up striking out the side. He knew he had the stuff and he wanted to show off that great stuff, and people flocked to see him do his thing. So is that where Satchel Page got the idea to bring the outfield in? Or the whole infield in? All right, pitch one inning, strike out the side. Do not walk, do not hit, do not give up a hit. So basically, I got to strike out the side. All right. Here is Terry. And here it comes. That's in there. And this one is off and running. Wow. All he did is put it in play. <laughs> and I have to try again. <laughs> Didn't even get to see where the ball was going. Didn't even get to see if it was, I guess it was a fair ball. Swing and a miss. And we're underway here this afternoon. Next offering is foul back. John Donaldson was to the Negro Leagues of the 1910s what Satchel Paige would be a couple of decades later. A completely dominant force with a tremendous sense of showmanship. Got it by him for the K. Now the number two hitter, Cole. Oh, I, I don't know why they're splitting yeah, it up. In 1913, Donaldson had a run of 100 straight shutout innings. And this guy gets a hit, do I have to and start all over again or just start with him? Hit for 30 straight innings, throwing up three Not really sure. In a row. Just unreal. Right. Strike two. I'll right, we'll give him a fork ball outside, see if he'll chase it. All right, now we'll come up and in. Again, should have him off balance. God damn it. So do I have to start all over again? Yep. All 
That All sucks. Right, ready to get underway. Now it's the right fielder, Terry. And he deals. That misses the zone. And that's how this game gets started. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. Yeah, keep challenging him. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. I don't know why I keep play. starting Goal. here. Especially when you have to restart from the beginning every time if Goal you screw one. it up. One's the count. Hey. Right through there for a strike. See if he'll chase it a little higher up. The 0 2 from Donaldson. Good that's eye right there. Yep. and misses it's a strikeout all right here's the third baseman gordon that's strike one. Oh, and one nope. next offering ball upstairs one. i got a ball one strike donaldson delivers now this is in the air down the line don't catch and it, dude. No one could get to it. It's a foul ball. Donaldson winds and fires. Got Struck him. him out. Donaldson is just unhittable. All right. I don't think we're going to get the hit with him. So we got uh, all nations home uniform 250 and 250. Episode 7 is two way great. Oh, so maybe we'll get the hit here. By the time John Donaldson gets to the Kansas City Monarchs, he is really beyond his prime. But don't get it twisted. John Donaldson was not only a great pitcher, John Donaldson was also a great two-way star in black baseball history and in the Negro Leagues with the Kansas City Monarchs. His skill set was incredible. A great hitter who you could rely on to come in and get the job done on the mound as well because he was indeed one of the great two-way stars of the Negro Leagues. All right, so I'm guessing we're going to get the bat here. Almost finished, only one or two episodes to go. Tally three hits in two games. All right. Here comes John Donaldson with a chance to do some damage. Three hits in two games. That one fouled off. He's got 63 clutch, 64 power, 67 vision. Athleticism, so his numbers are not jumping off the page. Reminds me a bit of what Shohei Otani's done the last couple of seasons. Over to first, but the go-ahead run comes in to score. Right. He doesn't have jaw-dropping numbers. Well, we talk about five-tool players like Byron Buxton and Julio Rodriguez. 80 contact. Everyday players. Well, Donaldson had all their tools and more, given how good he was on the mound. He even hit almost 300 for the Monarchs in 1931. Is it gone? It is. High. What does that mean, too high? John Donaldson, two-run homer, or a solo homer, right after I just said he's got no power. <laughs> Rips one to right. That'll be another hit. Oh, he may end up with his three hits in the first game and not need the second game. And that's a double. 92 speed. Two hits for him. Well, that helps. One. Both were extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Solid I, got, I didn't get in that bad in the last four innings. That he just turned on. Not really out over the. That's not. Can't go four innings without a without an at bat. That was in the fifth inning. I should have got another at bat in the eighth. If not sooner. That's all right. I only need one hit here. John Donaldson digging in now. 
I guess they wanted me to face the lefty or the righty. That no, I was foul. facing the righty last game. So I don't I don't understand. Here comes the old one. But there's my third hit. Base hit. One runs in. Take two, John. The second run scores. It's two zip. And he's got a double. All right. That was episode seven. We got the All Nations Road Uniform 250 and 250. Episode eight still dealing on the mound. Haven't really got hung up on anything tonight. Very good. Some of these I've been hung up on for 20 minutes at a time. Seem to be cruising right through tonight. Of course, now that I said that. Pitch three innings. Do not give up three runs. Okay. I think this is Southside Park. Back now at Southside Park. Now yep. it's the second baseman. I got Ten. it right. All right, so it says... The wine and the pitch. My only goal is not to give now up three runs. On the infield. Little makes the catch, and there's one gone. The sheer magnitude of John Donaldson's stats is just nuts. 424 wins, more than anyone but Cy Young. More than 5,000 strikeouts, which only Nolan Ryan has done since. And he pitched in more than 750 cities across the United States and Canada. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. The 0-2 from Donaldson. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. All right. Nice job of two-strike hitting in that at-bat. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Hayes, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Willie Mays Hayes. Next offering is in for a strike. Donaldson oh, threw two perfect games and 14 total no hitters. He even threw three straight no nos in 1915 as part of that run. Three of 30 straight no, no hitters. Games. And he struck out 30 batters in a single game twice. Hey. Bates stands in now and watches strike one. 30 strikeouts in a game twice. Murray leads oh, off first strike. with two down to the inning. That's some him. Impressive numbers. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Bottom of the eighth, and here's the catcher, Hughes. Donaldson back to work. And that's in for a strike. Speaking you know, of Hughes, was done playing, he Jack the Hughes got the Devils as a scout for a major league only team. goal the last Sox night against the Rangers. And he on a penalty for shot. Years. That was got rocked delivers. last night by the Rangers. Swings first time the Rangers have beaten us all year. That's the first out. Hoping and for a different blast. result tomorrow. In game two. That's a slider for a strike. Donaldson had one player in particular that got away in his scouting career. You know, he recommended that the White Sox sign a young shortstop with the Monarchs who wound up signing across town with the Cubs and ended up having a Hall of Fame career himself. Ernie Banks. Was, Ernie Banks. Swings yeah. and misses on the fastball yeah, right. up in the zone for the strikeout. And now here is Smith. And there's the strike. And how about that? It's an immaculate inning. Yeah, big deal. Welcome back. Here's the center field. Hey, where's Floyd? Donald. I want Floyd to come on here tonight. He told me that the Jets finished their trade yesterday with the Packers Pitch. for Aaron Rodgers. They did not. I'm looking all over the internet for it. Last night. They didn't complete the trade. I don't know what he's talking about. They've been trying to make the trade for damn near two months now. They can't agree on compensation. And down on strikes he goes. And there's one away. So now a pinch hitter for the pitcher. 
Mason looking to start something with one gone. Okay. And the ball. first pitch misses for ball one. Count one and oh. There's the strike. Oh. Catcher's Donaldson getting beat up back there. Got him Got looking him. for the K. Fastball to letters frozen for strike three. Here's the second baseman, Taylor. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Popped up left side. Perry on the move. Ball game. John nice Donaldson catch. slams the door for KC. He does indeed. That was episode eight. So, yep, we are finished. 1500 and 1500. Got through that one pretty nicely. James Leslie Wilkinson, who owned the Kansas City Monarchs, believed that John Donaldson was the greatest pitcher in Kansas City Monarch history. He was a left-hander with a dominating fastball, great curve, and a full repertoire of other pitchers that, like most great pitchers, he could absolutely throw everything for strikes. Now, mind you, J.L. Wilkinson had Hall of Famers Hilton Smith, Wilbur, Bullet Joe Rogan, Jose Mendez, and of course, the legendary Leroy Satchel Page. And he was perhaps the most fond of John Donaldson. Now, part of that may have been because John Donaldson made J.L. Wilkinson a lot of money because Wilkinson was literally hiring Donaldson out. And it's seemingly everywhere that Donaldson went, he dazzled. Yeah, he was a special, special ball player. And it's hard to believe that a ball player of this magnitude, very few folks have ever heard about. All right, another storyline complete, 100% complete. There is your 90 John Donaldson card. He is a two-way player, pitcher and outfield. All right, so... We have now done Satchel Page, Hilton Smith, Rube Foster, Hank Thompson, Buck O'Neill, Jackie Robinson, and John Donaldson. Tomorrow we'll finish it off with Martin Digo, and then we will unlock the 95 Buck O'Neill card. I think that should be a 99. Buck O'Neill should be a 99. If it's a reward, come on, show the man some love. All right. So we're up to 5,600 stubs now. So let's get into the weekly wonders. Get that. We can't finish it, but we can do the moments and stuff. And then we'll do, uh, we'll play a game. Maybe we'll play a couple of games as we continue to work on the Team Affinity. Still making some progress on that. All right, so the moments, mighty mini. Get on base two times with Mini Minoso. At the White Sox. And next to him for the Sox, Mini Minoso. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine. There's one. On to Brown. It's two. Not a good start, Mini. Hitting into a double play. Shame on you. Throw over to first. Garcia back easily.
And a foul ball. Minoso getting to start in left. 28 years old. And he was born in Cuba. This one in the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Outside of the United States. They should States, have him Cuba playing this players, at the old Comiskey Park. Cooperstown than any other country. Puerto Rico and oh, the way late on that. are close behind. Now that they have the Comiskey Park in the game. I gotta, the string with the change I gotta check the packs. Out. See if I can sell that stadium. Whichever one it is. I certainly hope it's not a no sell. Soft contact in the air, and it's in there, base hit. I think it's too late to get three hits, though. Unless we go extra innings. Oh, I have to get two. Get on base two times, okay. Blackburn back to work. And that one is drop. lifted in the air. It's not going to drop. It's right to Hits him. It away for the out. Extra innings. All right, bottom of the eighth, that works, too. And he goes deep to the, to the wall. The catch. Oh, remember last night I was saying that every time this guy says absolutely belted, the ball never leaves the yard. But today it did twice. <laughs> of course, after I say that. And he had said it many, many, many times. And the ball never went over the wall for a home run. Today he said it twice, and it was a home run both times. So... Never know. The throw to second, not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. That should count. That's getting on base. Blackburn back to work. Line drive. And Minoso is set down. And that's the third out. Got a hundred contact, sixty-four power. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. He's in there. All right. It's the dirt, and that's ball one. Anderson, the lead runner out at second. Garcia. I haven't seen it in a couple of layout. days, Godspeed. In the air, the right only, field. The only place that I've seen it is in the uh, mini season. the catch. Runner tags at second to third, not in time. And I haven't played that in a couple of days. We'll play a game of that. Side, digging in. Mini Minoso. We'll play a game of the mini seasons to continue that. When I get finished with these, and we'll check it out. Out towards left center. Come on, drop. He's got it, and there's one down. That's the only place that I've seen it. So when I get finished with these moments, instead of playing a regular game for my so team, Affinity, we'll mini play mini uh, no some mini seasons. No one or one or two games of that, and we'll check it out. I'm three and zero. Oh. And a pitch. Line All right, there's Basie. one. Runner around third. Go for two, many. One runs in. Now the throw comes in. Runner holds it third. Picks himself up an RBI. Just a cookie. 80 speed, 103 vision, 64 power. Blackbird back to work. Swings and misses. Oh, that's Why would you one. swing at that? There's a strike. At the belt and fires. There you go. The middle. Dig it, dig it, dig it. On the nope. Run. And Minoso is set down. Got him by a step. On 
on the ground to the left. Throw on to Brown. And that is that. Getting late here. Martinez back to work. Oh, what are you swinging at, man? Come on. On that pitch. Come on, you know better than that. And it's one and one. He can hit me if he wants. That's getting on base. One down, base is empty. That one missing inside. I guess walking is getting on base, too. Ah, that might 80 speed nope on the first one more hop and he would have been able to beat it out look at that first inning single <laughs> and up next for Chicago Mini Minoso that's <laughs> me and the pitch that misses ball one I like Anderson, how when I swing at bad second, pitches, Garcia, I blame them first with no outs. like they're in control. Hit on the ground might be two. Peterson over to second, on to Brown, it's two. Lifted in the air, out to Yeah, left. they should be doing this mission in Worker Comiskey Park. the play, and that'll do it. Since it's in the game now. Many didn't play at guaranteed rate field. He played at Comiskey Park. That one ripped. That's back there. And that one off is the wall. off the wall. And into second with one away. That's a double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. On the ground as he oh my god, that was a check swing. Goes to second, safe there. And he'll be safe at first. See, that's bullshit. It says get on base. It doesn't matter if it's a fielder's choice. He got on base. So up next for Chicago. Getting on base is getting on base. That's not right. And a pitch. Double play ball to second. Oh, he throws it away. So now that's an error, so. That shouldn't count. Oh. That's an error. In the air to left center. Rooker hauls it in, and there's one away. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. Couldn't have timed it up. I'm not hitting Drew Steckenrider. I need to get my hits off of the starter. Or I could just be more patient, I suppose. This guy keeps pitching low. Line uh, drive. Drop. Get over his head. Do something. And Other than that. Is set down. And there's two down. Extra innings. Yep. Nope. Bottom of the eighth. Okay. We'll take it. Taps off oh, the third Jesus base Christ. side. A swinging bunt. Throw on to Brown. And Minoso is set down. Uh, try again. And next to him for the Sox. Mini Minoso. And here it comes. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score. The pitch. 
Bounced up the middle. Diaz. Now the throw to first on the run. Leadoff hitter retired. And first offering is fouled off. Minoso, 28 years old, and he was born in Cuba. And that one hit to first. Wow, I'm not hitting he well anymore. For the out. Move to first. Anderson dives back. And first offering is fouled off. If you're a base runner, you got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. There's Line one, but it's the eighth hit. inning. And the go -ahead Maybe we can get that scoring in. position. One away. Well, that was an important at bat in this game. Nope. Uh -huh. Try again. And here is Minnie Minoso. No left fielder. Minnie Minoso. The pitch. Rolled a short, could be two. Throw is high and over his head. He pulls into second and a run comes in to score. The pitch. And that one cutting but missing down low. Into center. His strength is line drives, not fly balls. There's two away. The right hander back to work. That's the third and foul ball. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And I'll get one more at bat. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the. Chad Smith. Pitch. Get over his head. On a All line right. Base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff dive. Oh, I didn't think about that, but Godspeed, yeah, that's a good idea. With the good speed, yep, that's a good idea. All right. Next, pitch one inning. Do not give up a hit. All right. Thanks, sir. One inning of hitless ball. All set to start the ninth in this one. Right Stepping in, Yu Chang. And wow. all eyes on the They didn't give him any love, huh? Yu Chang is a 68 game. or a 70, yeah, whatever it was. In there. No or change up. Right. Give him no love Either at all. Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Next pitch is inside. One ball, one strike. Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. On the ground, and it gets through for a hit. Their first of the ball game. You know, this isn't real. Look at all these people here in Oakland. The A's haven't seen that many Back people in a, in East Bay. In a week, started. let now alone in a game. Chang. And all eyes on the mound as he begins the ninth inning, working on a perfect game. Inside corner for a strike. One one. Oh, Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. Well, that's not true. Not like never before. They've all been in this situation. On the ground, right side, and it goes just foul. They want to this make guy doesn't sure have a fastball, they have huh? The opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They are going to make the play. Field two. And a foul ball. He stays alive.
Here's the 0-2. And a curve wow. is down and in. Navigating this Boston lineup, it's not easy. And this guy at the plate, one of the best power hitting short. Now this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. Oh, and dude, there, come on. Base hit. And the bid for history is gone. And he makes it into third with a leadoff triple. Back here at the ballpark. All set for the I don't know, man. Game. I think now that should have been caught. He was on the warning track. How could he get over his head? The ninth inning, working on a perfect game. Kicks and deals. That one misses. And that is ball one. Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. The one two. He does not have a fastball. And a good eye there. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They are going to make the play. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's Mookie to hit. First offering misses the mark. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. Simeon, toss over to first. Two up, two down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Andrew Benintendi in the box with two gone. And yeah, takes a look at a called strike. Bounce to the right. Lowry. And he's done it. A perfect game. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. I got a question out there. If you're working on a perfect game in the ninth inning, you should be facing the 7 8 9 batters, not the 1 2 3 batters. Just saying. All right. All right, David Wright hit a home run with David Wright. Okay. At the Mets, I don't know if it's going to be at City Field or at Shea Stadium. City Field. So up next for New York, David Wright. Third baseman. 119 contact, 89 power, 74 vision, 76 speed. They fixed the scoreboard. There's oh, get out of here. Get out, get out. And it's a one uh, off the wall. One Should off the wall. That would have been nice on the first swing. With a relay home, there's the tag. They get him, and that's the inning. That would have been nice to get that on the first swing. So now it's the four now hole hitter, David Wright. So it's one at bat. Next offering is down low. And yeah, that's ball one. And that's through there for a strike. McNeil off of first with two away. Out there to center. Nope. And the inning is over. So two down. Stepping in for New York, David Wright. First pitch, just misses. Go with the tie and run at first base. He's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. That one uh, drilled left field, and that's just foul. Just foul, a little early. And he deals. That pitch clips the outside corner. It's a ball and two strikes. Check swing, and he held up. The 2-2. In the air, right field. And that one gets down. Fair ball. Lead runner yeah. gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double. Second and third now. 
Now the third baseman, third base David Wright. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. Uh, if he late. can't do that, keep the line moving to a walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Shoots a line drive single into right center. They stop oh, he's the getting base hit. second. Now two on with two outs. It's just not getting him over the wall. So two down, and next for the Mets, David Wright. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Warning track. Chisholm makes the grab, and that is that. So two down, David Wright will hit next. In the air, left side. To the track. Brings uh, it in for the third out. Right in front of the wall. So two down. David Wright third up now for the Mets. Right. Slice to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that David Wright now up now for the Mets the third baseman right. and the first pitch misses for ball one well with the tying run at first base he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on drive it into a gap and score that run from first base next one misses yeah, that's ball two. Well, he's All right, so come on now. The ball the other way. He gets those Looking for something extended. good. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside. So I can hit a single to right. And a base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. David Wright up now base. for the Mets. This one in the air right field reaches for it, but it's foul. Kicks and fires. That one the uh, other way. Are you at, the grab and that's the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, David Wright. The third baseman. Oh, out in front of it. McNeil off of first with two away. And he hung that slider. 82 on that. Check swing, no appeal. One and one. Throw that shit down the middle again, meat. Hard grounder so I can hit a ground ball up the middle. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. So two down, David Wright up now for the Mets. First offering misses the mark. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, now this one stroke to right center, and that should be extra bases. McNeil around third. Wendell with a relay throw in to score from first. It's 1 1. The tag Needs the home run, so Triple's not going to do anything. Might as well keep him running. He swings and fouls one off. And that is cut on and missed. No balls, two strikes. Wow, I'm either way in front of it or way behind it. 
lifted in the air right center field Chisholm in position he's there he's got it and that's the inning next to him David Wright third baseman Snap throw to first, and he's back in safely. Hard ground ball, base knock. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. And next will be the cleanup hitter, David Wright. The third baseman. Lifted in the air, right field. Stanton is there. And that is that. Stanton? Oh, it's from back in that day. Okay. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, David Wright. And takes low for ball one. But with the tie and run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on, drive it into a gap, and score that run from first base. He is. And now it's even up. Here comes a pitch. And it is two and one. And a foul ball. I'm having a hard time telling the difference between the fastball a two -two. and the off-speed. That's why I'm so late on that fastball. Chisholm makes the catch, and that'll do it. That'll do her. So two down, and here is David Wright. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Shouldn't even have swung at that. And that one is inside. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Oh, David, what are you doing? All game, if guys will chase it, that's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Out towards right center field. That one gets down for a hit. Throw in I'm not feeling the 89 power out of him. On now with two away. He hit the base of the Next wall once. That's all he's done so far. And he no. swings and misses at the initial offer. I certainly am not helping his cause any. and missed 96 of that Jesus. fastball. Well, Why would he throw me a strike? He's trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. Next offering misses, and the count is one and two. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Got him swinging. Wow, that was a fucking terrible at bat. David Wright getting ready to hit. Third baseman. And first offering is fouled off. McNeil, the runner at first with two gone. Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. And the batter now, David Wright. Swings through that one. Way out in front of it. He was done with his swing by the time the ball reached the plate. In order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So the at bats are getting worse. Keep the line moving for a walk or just a base hit. But you got to stay within yourself. And a count one and two. Two outs. Up the middle. Arise. They take the force out. 
inning over. David Wright up now for the Mets. Line to left. Nope. Doesn't have the distance. Makes the grab, and that will end the. I don't know how I'm getting a thousand XP. So up next for New York, David Wright. Last two at bats. I got a thousand XP. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Ripped to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Yeah, I got a thousand eighty-five on that one too. It's a lot of XP for one at bat. So two down, and next for the Mets, David Wright. Double Roger XP is over. It ended yesterday. He's back safely. So I don't know why. I don't get that in an inning most of the time. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. But with the tie and run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on, drive it into a gap, and score that run from first base. Hit hard, should be extra bases. And that's going to get into the corner. McNeil, rounds third, headed for the plate. The relay throw, and he's yeah. out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. I'm not sure why that stopped. I wasn't going to get credit for a home run, I guess. So two down, David Wright up now for the Mets. I didn't see what I got for XP that time. Ah. First offering is fouled off. That one down the line, sneaks through, base hit. Now I didn't get any XP for that one, so I don't know what's going on. So two down, David Wright up now for the Mets. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tie and run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving to a walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. That misses the zone. Going to count one and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. They get the force. That's out number three. 1,295, it said on that one. So two down. David Wright, the next to hit. They say you win. He the did not. First base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. Hammer, base hit. McNeil headed for third. McNeil coming home. Arise. Relay to third. The tag, and he's out trying for three. I've and literally the got the ball to the fence Here's the third once. Base. David Wright. In the air. He just doesn't seem to have home run power. Check swing. He held up. One and says, 119 contact, 89 power, but I'm not feeling it. In order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, is it one ball to the fence on the fly? But you got to stay within yourself. Swing that was a good pitch. And a count two and one. They haven't scored yet swung in too this late. game. And with that swing, they're definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. Hey. Two one pitch is in there, and the count is even. <laughs> that one ripped left field. All right. Back. Oh, yeah. Gone. That was a changeup low in the zone. 
finally. Okay, so we got three, and I believe there's only four. Yep. Tally two extra base hits with Ryan Braun. Thank you, sir. In San Diego, Ryan Braun needs two extra base hits. So digging in, Ryan Braun. 81 contact, 69 power, 62 vision, 70 speed. He's an 88 overall, so they didn't give him any love. Check on the runner, and he's back in safely. On the ground, two ball. Good feed, that's one. 69 power. Double play out of the pen. 69 power for Ryan Braun is kind of weak. They say he went. He did not. Maybe he maybe he hit lefties better. I don't remember. The next pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. I know he had more power than 69. And yeah, the right-hander deals, and one and two. Good eye in that spot. It's a good take. And that one in the air center field. Grisham makes the play. And that is the third out of the inning. Seventy speed, so he may be able to wheel his way in. For a double. Right grounder into the outfield for a knock. Not on that one, though. Didn't take long to get a result for that. Back here at Petco Park, we go to the ninth. Here's the left fielder, Ryan Broad. Ryan Broad. And a pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Line to second, snagged on the bounce. Throw to first, one up, one down. Now the left fielder, Ryan Braun. 62 vision. Yeah, they gave him no love here at all. Now fly ball to right center. Grisham calls it in, two away. to the zone for a strike. Strike one. Pick off move to second, and he's back in there. Another throw to Come second, on. and he's back in that time as well. Twice in a row is unheard of. Get over his head. Takes it in for the out. Line of the pitch. This one in the air center field. Well, he's got it. Grisham hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. Still just a single. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be all set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the left fielder, Ryan Broad. The pitch. Ball one there, Castillo. All right, look at 101 contact, 110 left, uh, 110 power against lefties. All right, so he, he is lefties much better than righties. Okay. Those are numbers that are more along the lines of what he should get. Okay. So he doesn't hit righties as well. Late that time, it's strike two.
Next pitch way upstairs. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And a pop up right side foul well, territory, it wasn't. and that's a foul ball. That one hammered left field. Profar going back. He goes. Score. It'll tie it. On oh. the morning track. And Makes the catch. Call a cop. He robbed him. One down. Ryan Braun digs in down. That would have been extra innings. I might have gotten another at bat. Ground ball to first. Could be two. Over to Kim. One. What a double play that was. Inning over. Yep. Pulls that one foul. You'll one. That's All right, a that Base might hit. get him a double. Yep. Around first, digging for two. And he'll pull in there with a stand up. All double. right, it's the fourth inning, so I may get two more at bats. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. He does. His first one. Oh. To short, Kim. What a week. Run, throw to first, and that is that. Back here in San Diego. Ninth inning, last at bat. Ryan Ryan yeah, the right hander back to work. Ground ball, mm. left side, and foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. I don't think Here's that one's going to do it. In there safely. Doesn't matter. He needed two bases, not one. So up next, Ryan Broad, the left fielder, number eight. Ryan Broad. Throw to first, and he's back standing. Swing and a miss, oh. and that's strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Soto snags it for the second out. Martinez back to work. A little bit low. Check swing, but he went too far. And he did not. One. Righty delivers. So now one and two. Damn, this guy's working the lower half. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Up the middle, Kim tosses to first. That's the third out. Fall off foul. Terang over at second. Mitchell on at first with two down. Swung on, belted. Does it have enough? In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. One runs in, a second scores as well, and they take a two-run lead. His confidence well, let's hope so the Padres great. come back. Well, All right, we got another shot. The All right. the Here's the left fielder, Ryan Braun. Or we keep it going. Either way, Garcia just to get another at bat. Swing and a ball popped up. Come on, drop, 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 drop. Tracks it down for the out. Oh. oh. I don't think he would have made it anyway. One down. Ryan Broad up now for the Brewers. 
Pickoff move to first. No, Mitchell dives back in safely. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Martinez with a move to first. Mitchell back in on a dive. Swing and a miss. Oh. And a count one and two. That was ugly. There's a base hit. hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And right back to the mound. To first, and one away in the top of the... All right, we got a lefty on in the fifth inning. Down the right field line and a base hit. Right. Burns around third. One run is in. Cronenworth with a relay home. Not in time. He's safe at the plate. It's 7-1. Last step bat. Back to a right-hander again. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, That's nice. strike one. Well, these Brewers do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're only swinging at pitches inside the zone. Chasing hasn't been come an issue on. at all. Less than 10% of their swings have been at pitches outside the zone. League average right now, somewhere around. That sucks. Have so it end on a fucking Ryan foul ball. Broad. Ground ball right side could be two. Cronenworth to second, and that's quick work. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. So important for him to control Man, the this guy's got right some now. good stuff. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. He swings good contrast ball, in his speeds. It's really... Grisham grabs making it, it hard for me. Late swing fouled off. One out and a runner at second. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. A dive, he's got but it. That's not Fires what he needs. First, and that's a great play for the out. He needs extra bases, not just getting on base. Is absolutely belted. Yep. Too high. And it goes. Does that mean too high? <laughs> absolutely belted. Gone. And it goes the out. The third one today. It's six two. Third two one today that's happened. First. Next for the Brewers. Lefty Ryan again. He's All right. already homered in this game. Ninth inning. And he takes a strike. That's a big run over there at first base. He's got some speed. Let's see if they send it. Next offering upstairs. Step off, throw to first, and he's back in easily. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off, it's over. Swings through. Oh, the what are you swinging two. at? Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific. Bite yeah, he did. He guessed it was Next hittable. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. 
Man, he Mr. gets wrong. Come on, drop, under. drop. He's got it. Ball oh, yeah. The Padres strand the tie. That was a good one. I had lefties in. Because he ain't doing shit against right-handers. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Get down. All right. And that's Very good. And an automatic double as it hops the okay. fence. All right, all right. We're in business. Come Stays on, get down. Way. That's a base hit. Uh. Around third. The throws <laughs> offline. He's safe. It's three zip. One low. This one popped up. Oh, Valve come on. Base Jesus. Takes it. This is the third. That ends He's the frame. Done. One more at bat. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the ninth, and now Ryan Braun. Well, at least we're tied. Suarez back to work. And that one fouled off. The next offering misses, and it's one and one. Fouled off. He was late. Ah, uh, he was. back to the mound <laughs> on the run sends it over to first now here is Ryan Broad and he swings and misses at the initial offering pickoff throw Mitchell gets back easy stop with the pickoff throws I don't know why they have that shit on missions like this Is inside ball one. And a swing and a miss. Next pitch is outside. And it's two and two. Martinez checks on first. Mitchell back in standing. Now all even up. Fights it off. He'll see another. Martinez no, picks the there. first. Come on. Back in there standing. He's going, he's going. Run around the goal. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in mo. Martinez back to work. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Too high. What does that mean, too high? Who cares? It's gone. A shot to left. And they slice into the lead. It's 3 1. All right. It's 1. And first offering is fouled off. That was supposed to be a check swing. And a foul ball. God, I'm so late on everything. And the 2 Can't Swing get two out of that. Drive, base hit out of the center field. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. That's about Come on, give me a lefty. So two away with nobody on. Next for Milwaukee, Ryan Broad. He's already homered here in this one. 
Swings and misses. And that is strike one. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Ball Next one. offering misses. And that's ball one. That one nope. missed. And the pitch. Now a screamer uh. into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. This is starting to fucking piss me off. One down. Ryan Broad up now for the Brewers. Martinez over to first. Oh, Mitchell back on a dive. Fastball in for a strike. That's strike one. It's a pitch out. Nothing doing. And that's ball one. Martinez checks the runner. Mitchell dives back in safely. What Mitchell has a 99 speed? Certainly not Kevin. And a ball evens the count. Tapped up the first base side. Over to Kim. One. Back to first. Not in time. All right. This is the last try. If I don't get it on this one, I'm quitting this one. I'll come back to it tomorrow. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right See, center field. Not, That'll touch down for a hit. Can't get it in the gap. Everything came together. It's just starting to fucking piss me off. Outside. I can't play around with him here. It's a six run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Ball, and it's three. even up. Righty to the plate. Swing and a ball popped up and it falls. And that keeps the inning alive. That was maybe even a little off. Double play ball to second. Tags the runner. Double play. And Fuck that'll you. do it for the inning. Kiss my ass. I'm out. I'll come back to that one at a later time. Fuck them. All right, let's do a uh, mini season game. Check the white faced chicken pox. It's uh, we're visiting the Lima Lemurs. They're 0 3. Canes are 3 and 0. I don't remember my lineup. There it is. Alec Manoa. You know what? I need to... Um, I got a bunch of guys in my lineup that were working on missions, I believe. <clears throat> Guess not. Manny Minoso, he was working on a mission, yep. He was because there's Ricky Henderson. All right. Okay. And yeah, these two guys. I don't, yeah, see Strowman's a 97. And Jacob DeGrom. That's right. I got Jacob DeGrom out of a pack today. <clears throat> that's right. The 95. And he was, what, 88,000, I think. So that saved me some money. And this guy, too. 92. 
He's a 92. Alex Manoa. Alec Manoa. We're going to put in Garrett Cole, but... Yeah, I pulled Jacob DeGrom out of a pack today, 88,000. I was very tempted. I think it was 118,000. I was very tempted to sell him. But I know he's only going to go up in price, so. And these guys here, yep, they are what they are, okay. So... All right. Yeah, that was nice, Godspeed. Get a good one every once in a while out of the packs, but it's like one in a million. And it was like 118000 He was very expensive. So it was nice to get it one less thing I got to buy. I was so tempted to sell them. But I know he's only going to go up. All right, so for some reason I can't use my Mike Trout card in here. All these people are not doing missions, so this is good. We'll bet uh, Reggie third, Alonzo fourth. Got a solid team all the way down. Just leave them as is, all right. Yep, nobody's working on missions, so here we go. At Lima. And we're going to start Marcus Stroman. Make his debut. Yeah, for some reason, I can't, Trout isn't eligible for this. I don't know why. Lima looks like they have a pretty weak team. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's Miami going up against Lima. Just about set, and on the hill in this one, Chris Paddock. What should we keep an eye on here? He may not dominate, but he always keeps the club in the game. Where's my logo? You have a really good chance to win with him on the mound today. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Baez fires over to first. And a quick out number one. This game, man. Sometimes my logo... It just doesn't Jazz appear Jr. Now. for no reason. This is one of those games. <laughs> In the air, out Jazz right gives set. it a ride. It's trouble. Dives, but it falls. One hops the wall. Like he's going to go races. for three. Round second, digging for third. And he's got himself a triple. No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive, turned on it, and hammered it out front into the gap. Right. Reggie rips one down, down the right field ball. line. There's an RBI. Strike first as they take a one nothing lead. Reggie with the RBI single and the Canes well, lead go, one to the nothing. RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Jackson over at first with one away. Paddock moved to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. A couple of quick nuggets on Pete Alonzo. He graduated from the same high school as Wade Boggs, Plant High School in the Tampa area. And Alonzo also played at the University of Florida. He was About an hour there from here. Harrison Bader. The pitch. And now two and one. About in, playing high school is about an hour from where I live. On the ground left side. Six, four, three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. Back here at El Diamante. Our starter in this one. Marcus Stroman. He's making his Hurricanes debut here. Great discipline in between starts, taking care of himself, 
making sure he's lifting, his stamina stays high. He's a guy that wants to finish every start that he makes. Now, we know that's not quite possible, but he's well-conditioned to throw over 100 pitches effectively. I think if you're on the other side, you've got to try to have lengthy at-bats, run that pitch count up, and perhaps get him out of the ball game early. He's kind of a rare pitcher in today's game. We'll see what he's got in this one. Going to count one and two. One ball, two straight. Him looking, that's a strike. Run him up. Now it's Javier Baez. In there for strike one. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Swings and misses, nice. struck him out. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the oh, base paths, yeah. and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run home. Oh. A cookie. Next one misses. I like and what I see in the stands Stroll this year. The the fans are actually when drinking stuff actually and eating stuff. There's a chick behind the plate field. eating a pretzel. Loves to shag taking ground balls at They're drinking coffees. Or second. Really good athlete. So does. See the chick right behind the plate. She's eating a pretzel. Nice touch. Nice touch this year with that. Two people are eating pretzels back there. The one, two. Hi, Jacob. Thanks for Alex joining the stream, man. Chisholm, under it. Welcome. Hope What's you're doing well tonight. That one, and that'll end yeah, doesn't it look cool, Godspeed? Adds a little more. For the offense that time. Adds a little more realism to it. The Hurricanes out front, one to nothing. Welcome back, and we've got a new arm on the mound to start the second. Trevor McGill. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Greg. The wind and the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Oh, and one now. What's so funny? Blind, and that's a base hit. What is he laughing at? Takes the turn. He's digging for second. He the should. In, into second and in safely. And they've got something brewing now. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front the side. Good. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Bobichette up to the dish. That one rips. Oh, rips it down the left field line. It's trouble. And one hops the wall. One hops Runner the wall. Seven. It'll bring a run goal. in. And Bo Bichette and has a, a stand-up run scoring good double. From him right now with consecutive extra base hits. It's always fun to see a double rip down the line. That one just barely stayed fair. So that was a good call by the umpire. He was all over it. That's out to center field. That might drop. Nope. He's got it. And there's one away. So far, the faces look okay, Godspeed. I don't see any white chicken pox. Chris, you ready for a nugget? Ready. Rafael Devers homered in three straight games against the Yankees before he turned 21. The only other player to do that. Paper. Activity in the bullpen. All right, Jacob. Gary thanks for Crochet. stopping by, man. Appreciate it. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. The 01. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Well, he's been aggressive right out of the box, and a smart pitcher is going to play off of that, especially when you get to two strikes. Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow uh, morning, afternoon, Jacob, probably around 11 a.m. Man, it's second. Eastern time. Swing and he breaks his bat. Over to Hosmer, and Devers is set down. Well, as a hitter, it can be kind of tough. You get a hard-throwing reliever that
that comes in the ball game. You don't know exactly what his pitches are doing, and that clearly blew him up on the hand. Sawed off that. No, I'll only be on for maybe two or three hours. Guys like this come in. I'll come on about eleven and two or three hours. And that one. And that's it for tomorrow. I'm heading out of town. There's a hockey game tomorrow night. So no no stream tomorrow night. So come on about eleven Eastern time. I'll be on two or three hours and. That's going to be it for me and until that one Tuesday. Is in the air. Racing makes the catch. <laughs> that is the inning, but a run will score in the inning on this RB. All right, two nothing Canes lead. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Way to get the bullpen up. Drop a drag bunt from time to time. Thank you for stopping in, Jacob. Hope Chris. to see you tomorrow. Yeah, and he Have creates, a good night. Uh, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Stroman back to work. Bunt attempt. Get there, up. get there, get there. Devers makes the grab on the run. That's well, probably the catcher's ball. There, but not able to execute. No left yeah, I think he rushed it a little bit. And when guys rush, it can be a pop up or it can be bunted right back at the position. <laughs> speed. Yeah. Batting with one down. Takes I caught that too. Foul ball there. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way. To beat the shift. <laughs> As would my ass. Godspeed. I sit in a nice recliner. But yeah, my fingers too. The O2. I sit in a nice recliner, but all day. Broken Gotta get up and, and it's move at up. some point. Brings it in. That's out number two. Ball's just not carrying the first tonight. That exists. <laughs> now you would the actually say field. that to your teammate in the dugout. No, I'm not that cruel, but someone would say it to me, and I'm sure it's probably been said before. Mini Minoso in the box now. No balls and a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. All right, so far I don't see any white chicken pock face. I'll play one more game after this. The third and there's a new arm on the mound, Garrett Crochet. Oh, there it is. <laughs> as soon as I speak it, there it is. Ricky's got the white chicken pox. So, no, Godspeed, it has not been fixed. <laughs> Took till the third inning. As soon as I said it, it appeared. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. So up next, Jazz Chisholm Jr. One for one. He tripled Jazz in his first trip. Chisholm Jr. On the ground right side. First two batters oh. retired here in the top of the third. So two down now. And now here one. is Reggie right Jackson. Here. Singled Reggie. and drove in a run yeah. his first time through. Now a slow roller to second. Tosses to first, third out. All right. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning. And now Sherman the is at 21 pitches. See so if right he can finish this. And there's a strike. One of the coolest moments of Marcus Stroman's career, Chris. He was the MVP of the 2017 World Baseball Classic. Team USA won gold. He took a no-hitter into the seventh inning of the championship game. Really Ooh. so awesome to see how guys wow, buy that into was the WBC just in foul. spring training. They really take it seriously once they put on that USA uniform. Got him looking. Yeah, 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 you're not kidding, Godspeed. Yep, it's not that bad. Corner for that backwards kick yep, right there. I think the it's not all that away. bad. Coming from that opposite arm angle, so I gotta think he was. You're right. Away and, and the only place it seems to happen is here in mini season. Jorge Polanco stands in now and watches strike one. And it's not too bad. Next off, I mean, at least in for a strike. It, it doesn't make the guys look un unrecognizable or anything. And it doesn't affect the gameplay at all. So they'll get it eventually. Back 
Two All right, two down to now. The frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So oh, we'll see how fair. long he can keep this streak going. <laughs> yes, Monty Grundle, All day. <laughs> the next to hit takes ball one. All right, this is going to be his last batter. That's the next pitch through. misses two and oh. And yeah, the righty deals. And that's in there at the knees. Uh, High in the air, out to right. Get there, get there. All and right. That'll do it. Canes win it, move to 4 0. Win can sort of feel like a mini blowout. Nice no, it does not. Ahead and a great job by the pitching staff. Stroman gets the win. Five strikeouts in three innings. Did not Singleton give up a uh, hit. Thank you, Ashby. Let's see. Thanks Jazz Chisholm, one for two with a triple. Craig Biggio, one for one with a double. Bo Bichette, one for one with a double and an RBI. Reggie Jackson, one for two with an RBI. Canes beat the Lemur, Lemurs two zip. They improved to four and zero oh in the GBL. I think my next game is a home game, so I'll play another one. Am I at the end? Ah, so close. Ah, my next game is not a home game. We're playing Tokyo, the Kaiju. Games are four and zero. Oh, Tokyo's four and zero. Oh. It's a battle for first place. Yeah, we'll play it anyway. One more. This will do it for me for tonight. And Jacob DeGrom will make his debut. It's nice, nice to see him coming out of a pack today. Because I would not have been able to afford him. We'll check his price out before I go. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Diamond Dynasty Baseball coming your way on the show. It's Miami going up against Tokyo. Huge game for first place in the Global Baseball League. Who's on the mound? Right, Christy Mathewson. Baseball, and towing the slab in this one, Christy Mathewson. Oh, look, he's the type of guy that you can bet on to give you quality innings. Most of the time he goes out there. Guy knows how to pitch. He's got good stuff. Sometimes it can be even plus stuff. And he's got a nasty ass uh, screwball. How he's feeling today and how he's going to settle into this ball game and attacking hitters. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against the there we go. The logo is back this game. And the hands just continue to carry through. I love how the logos just come and go and come and go. Junior now. Swings through that one. Oh, and one. Nobody out. Run Jazz is first. having a pretty good GBL season so far. 800 batting average, two homers, three and RBIs. Out, but nothing going on. Like a fantasy league for him. Left hand hitter waits. Out to short. That might get through. No. Nope. Goes to second, safe there. Boom, that's staying within his <laughs> game sweet. right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly yep. do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can Here's do. Here's Reggie Jackson. The Once they get in a position to do so. To the batter now, Reggie Jackson. Henderson, the lead runner at second. Chisholm on at first with nobody out. Oh, there's a strike. Reggie. One and one. That was a screwball, though. Next offering is fouled back. Man, that's a he nasty knows. change of pace. 98 hit. mile an hour fastball and a screwball in the 70s. He's got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with He didn't it. swing at that. Oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. What it's hard to bring that to a halt once you committed. They tried to check the swing. The bat did not go that far. It didn't even come bear. close to going Alonso. that far. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Up the Get middle nope. to second. That's one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Uh. 
back here in Tokyo. And starting in this one, Jacob DeGrom. What do we have on here? Making his Miami oh, Hurricanes debut. Stuff even better oh, is his delivery. Hides the ball for a very long time. High Where? leg kick. And by the time the hitter sees it, it's right on top of it. Base hit, center field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. One two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. Next one just no, misses. Hits, and it's one and two. One and two. Left hand batter waits. That's and the now the count is even. Man, oh man. I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Get it. Line drive. Come on. Come on. We really need to fix that. Here's Machado. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Machado. Strike one. Next pitch is outside. And now one and two. He goes down looking. Hey, Tycho. <laughs> Welcome back. On that inside fast no worries at all, man. As a hitter, it's not typically what you're looking for. Believe me, I know. Trying to protect away and Life. In, so you can be a little bit it gets in the way of everybody's fun. Mine included. This is my last pitch. game for the night, though. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. First place battle in the GBL in the Global Baseball League. Twings and misses. It's a Tokyo strikeout. Kaiju, Chase Miami Hurricanes. One inning complete here three. from Tokyo. No, no score. score. That's cool, Psycho. Welcome back, and we've got a new arm on the mound to start the I'm going to do a live stream Friday. tomorrow morning. He has a great slider with tons Late of Late morning. And then I'm leaving town. Bonnie's got an art show over in Melbourne, so I'll be gone for four days. Craig Biggio so no live streams. Through it for strike one. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. Yeah, that's cool. I appreciate it too, Tycho. Strike two. You know, I'll be back. My next stream will be after body. tomorrow. My next stream will be Tuesday. One more thing he's got to think about. Yeah, there's a ball. But I still have fresh content going up every day. I every, everything's scheduled out while I'm gone. No, this is part of the game, Psycho. The Global Baseball League. It's called Mini Seasons. You play a 28 game season, all three inning games. It's called the Global Baseball League. They got teams in Tokyo, Seoul, New Orleans, um, London. I can't think of all the. I can't think of the other cities. Lima. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And you get good rewards. You get good rewards um, for during the season and good rewards if you make the playoffs, if you win the championship. I won the championship last season. But that was like my third season, I think. It's, it's tough. It's difficult. It's not easy. By any means. That's what I like about it. It's pretty cool. Three inning games. Line drive to short and caught. My first season, I got eliminated from the playoffs uh, on a Devers. walk off, a walk off you home run. I got that video up somewhere. About any <laughs> I was <against> pissed. <laughs> and first offering is fouled off. But it's pretty cool. Biggio, off of first with two away. It makes you have to use your, all of your uh, your entire starting rotation. This is a first place battle right here. Oh and two now. 
Strike three, got Damn him it. swinging. Third out, and that ends the frame. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Yeah, I had 21 too. I think they the introduced the, the uh, mini seasons killer, last Charlie year, Blackman. but uh, they perfected it this year. Kind of like they do with every new feature. It's out for a year before they actually and that one just misses. tweak it and make it work right. I love it. There's several different options for seasons to play. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. You can work on no, Team Affinity. You can, uh, which is what I'm doing now. You can. There's a completely unlimited season where you can use all your best players. There's a lefty season which I haven't done yet, but I'm going to eventually, where it's all lefties. It's pretty cool. Different rewards for each one. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. And the teams that you play, which this is the cool part, are actual rosters of other players. Diamond Dynasty rosters. Right so this him. team that I'm playing here, the Tokyo this Kaiju, this roster is actually another player's roster. And when you start the season, it locks in those teams. Each, there, each team has a user nothing, player's nothing roster. In the bottom of the second. And then, you know, they it stays for the whole season, but that's what I like about it. It's pretty cool. So it's different teams. Swings and misses. Same that's team names two. and stuff, but Our different rosters every plate, time you play. Jerry Hillsdale. Every High season. Praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, I don't it's like new teams it, every time. Very straightforward. Very Got him. That's out number two. And some of the teams are very, very good. They're very difficult. K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way, coming from that opposite arm angle. So I gotta think he was looking away and just that got missed. locked up ball. by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. One ball, no strike. The Grom's is. not pitching bad in his debut, but he is certainly not Someone getting any run side. support. We always talk about connections, kids growing up with one another. Trevor Story grew up playing in Texas on the same travel ball team as Josh Bell. That pitch in for a strike, and that is strike two. And he is out of energy. Right wow. In black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. He's out of energy so in the second inning, 24 pitches. That's a little disappointing for Jacob DeGrom. He's a 95 overall. He's out of energy. 24 pitches in. Damn it. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. And now I have to take him out, and he's going to get a no decision. Good two strike hitting right there, but a bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. I could watch base hits like that. All right, we need a mound visit. They're not ready. So could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. I'm throwing everything I got at him, Skipper. I got enough for one more batter. Nah, you pitched a hell of a game, Harris. Let's get someone out here to help you finish it up. Give me Vaughn. Vaughn? You want to bring in Vaughn? I got a hunch he's due. There comes a skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. So here comes Ryan Presley to the mound. All and right, Ryan's pitched one third of an inning and got a victory. So he has Brandon one appearance Beach. for the Hurricanes this that season so far. For a strike. It's Pretty one. successful. And strike two. Okay. He's at a great spot right here. Ahead in the count, 0-2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. The 0-2. Sets him down looking. All right, let's make Ball him a winner. Three and a fastball up in the zone. Let's get Ready some runs. Lever out of the pen, Pierce Johnson. And now the catcher comes up to him. Johnny Bench. Johnson. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Oh swings through that. No ball. Check swing didn't go. 
Ball one. 22. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Not deep enough, though. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Anderson stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Come on, Ricky. Next offering is in for a strike. On the ground to third. Toss the belt, and that quickly two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice yeah. job of the pitcher. To All right, Jazz, let's go. Pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. On the ground. All right, good the start, good start. Base hit. Start so of a two-hour rally. Is on base with a knock. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a cookie down the Come middle. On, Reggie. Those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot that of That might drop. Right on top of it. And it drops All in. Right. So that's two straight, two out hits. Games are still well, alive. That one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. That ball right there landed There's in Pete Alonzo. Come on, it's Pete. All you need is a base hit. On the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. Ooh. I mean, it's a that was ugly, man. Ugly. For the shortstop, but also for the outfielders. I think he's 0 for man, the season. A, as well. a lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. That's a good time for your first hit, ball, brother. That's a base hit. Jazz on his horse coming around third. He'll score easily, and it's one nothing. Good job, Pete. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. On the mound now, Camilo Doval. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Some insurance play, would be nice. Hard hit left side. They take the force out in against, All right. and that stops the bleeding. Pete Alonzo comes up with the big the RBI single. His first hit of the season. Back and now and Lee Smith comes in for the save. Lee Smith. One game, These one save, two thirds of an really inning pitch. Make a name for themselves. Late Lee. and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. First place on the line here in the Global Baseball Gabriel League. Moreno wow, in the box now. that was a generous one. call. There's a swing and a miss. Next pitch is popped up. Pulls it in. All right. And Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. So the lineup flips over. Tony Gwynn now at the plate. First pitch, and he just misses. A one-run lead, and the home team trying to pull it out. There's a strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. The corner and back that's door two. slider. Was there a little wrinkle to that. I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Here's Juan Soto. The outfield shifted pretty heavily towards right field. Misses inside, and it's one and oh. And that's in there at the knees. Wow, that went nowhere near where I wanted it to. And back door. That pitch is devastating. The next offering misses. Two and one. They're down to their.
the final strike. That was absolute All right. gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's Mario just a Fort different Ball. experience as a hitter watching that go by. Chopped out in front of the plate. All right, Lee. Miami takes over game. first place. One nothing the final for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB. Lee Smith, your player of the game. He gets by. saved Not number Sean two. Sean Ryan Presley earns the victory. He pitched one third of an inning, struck out the only batter he faced. Jazz Chisholm two for two. Pete Alonzo one for two with the only RBI of the game. Ricky Henderson and Craig Biggio each one for two as well. Hurricanes down the Kaiju one to nothing. Wrestling's 2-0. Lee Smith has no ERA. I think I have a spiel. A spiel. I have a spin of the wheel. Alright, let's see what I get out of this one. Come on, go. Keep going. Diamond, diamond. Five more packs. I, I can't complain. I pulled the Grom out of a pack today. So, all right. Let's let's see what's going on here. Progress wise, forty four percent to AL West innings pitch for weekly wonders. Five of twenty one. Five. Okay. All right. All right. So the Hurricanes have a one game lead over the Tokyo Kaiju. Very good. All right. So let's take a look at some things before I go. First of all. Let's see. We just looked at the Season 1 reward path. Team Affinity, 100, 42, 45, 70, 44, and 24. We're getting there. We're getting there. It ain't easy. All right. The Weekly Wonders, still at three earned. All right. Let's uh, look at my packs. Oh, let's look at first. Let's see what DeGrom's worth. Rangers. He is one hundred and twenty-eight thousand dollars. That's his value. So that was very nice to pull him out of that pack today, because he is one of the highest. Let's see what Judge is. Oh, Shohei, one hundred and fifty thousand. Trout is two hundred and fifty-two. Jesus. The other really expensive one is Mike Trout, or um, Aaron Judge. Let's see what he is. He's 193000 Yep. So it was nice to pull that Jacob DeGrom out of there. All right, let's see what we have for packs. Oh, we got the Negro League stuff. All right, let's see. Stadiums, come on. Let me have something I can sell. I have them all, but it's not telling me their value, so I don't know which one to uh, buy, which one to get. I have them all, Bush, Mule Box, Southside, yeah, we're... Hilldale, I don't know which one to choose, yeah, we'll go with Hilldale. You already own this non-sellable item. See, I already own, I already own, I already own them. See, they, they make you fucking pick something that you already have and you can't sell it. Uh, what a bunch of bullshit. Duplicate no sell item. No, I don't want them, but you got to pick something. That's fucking bullshit. They force you to, to pick them. They force you to pick a duplicate, and then, <sighs> so it doesn't matter, just fucking pick one. That's, that's ridiculous. That's what I was afraid might happen. Not a lot of packs tonight. Oh, same here, though. Same here, yep. Might as well just pick the same one because we already own them and we can't sell them. So we might as well just 
It is Godspeed, it is. It's fucking completely stupid. Completely stupid. Do I have all of these? Yep, of course I do. And can't sell them. And tomorrow when I do the storyline for the last guy, I'll get more. I'll get more to, that I can't sell. How, how, how dumb. I mean, at least make it so that you can sell it. Fucking idiots. New and new, okay. Stupid, stupid, stupid. New and 103. New. New. Sell for 25. Sell for 110, alright. New, new, new and new. All right, final pack. That pisses me off, man. New, 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 new. Okay. I mean, they force you to, to pick something, at least give you something that you can sell or that you don't already have. They have, what, 10 storylines and 8 prizes? That's... <clears throat> we know how I feel. All right, let's see. Uh, let's check the price on uh, Griff <clears throat> before we go. He was seven hundred thousand last night. Let's see if he came down any. I don't see him on that page. There he is, two hundred and fifty-two thousand tonight. So he came down quite a bit in price, but still two fifty-two. Let's see, where's Gary Carter? He was going up. Yeah, see? He was down to 48, and now he's back up to 55. That's why I decided to spend the money on cards that I needed. Rather than one card, I could take that money and get two. All right. All right, that's going to do it for me. Like I said, I'll be back tomorrow around 11 a.m. It'll be my final live stream before I head out of town. And I will be back on Tuesday for that. So uh, we'll finish off the Negro League storylines tomorrow and get some more rewards that we can't use and can't sell. Looking forward to that. Thank you, Godspeed, Jorgen, and Tycho. Tycho stopped in tonight. Thank you, guys. I do appreciate it. Thank you to everyone else who stopped in along the way. Don't forget to drop a like down below if you saw anything that you liked. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do so. And then hit that little bell icon down below. Turn on all of your notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Fresh content every single day on Scott Stevens Gaming. And I go live many, many times a week. I'm on TikTok. Same name if you're on that platform, Scott Stevens Gaming. I'm on Facebook and Twitter as well. So that's going to do it for me for tonight. Have yourself a fantastic evening. Hope you'll join me tomorrow morning around 11 a.m. Eastern for my final live stream before I head out of town. And uh, have yourself a great night. I will see you tomorrow.